Hello and welcome to Immunology Lecture Series. Today we are going to talk about introduction to T cell receptors. Its structure, gene organization, and function. First, let me introduce you about the T cells. T cells are a type of white blood cells or lymphocytes that is originated in thymus and it has vital role in cell mediated immune response. There are two types of cell mediated immune response. First is cell mediated cytotoxicity which means killing of virus infected target cells and tumors and the second one is cell mediated antibody which means to facilitate B cell activation and the production of antibodies. T cells plays a major role in both of these immune response. In addition, T cells also recognize self antigen and helps induce immune tolerance. That means the cells are not reactive to self antigens. The first and foremost question is how does T cell recognize antigens presented by the MHC? The simplest answer is the T cell receptor. The T cell receptor recognizes the peptide bound MHC complex. In the figure, you can see there are two subsets of T cells here. One is CD8 plus T cells, the second one is CD4 plus T cells. The CD8 plus T cells recognizes the antigen presented by antigen presenting cells. Uh, via MHC class 1 molecule. Whereas CD4 plus T cells recognize the antigen that are presented by antigen presenting cells via MHC2 class 2 molecules. MHC class 1 molecules presents the endogenous antigens whereas the MHC class 2 molecules presents exogenous antigens. The T cells express T cell receptors that recognize the antigen presented via MHC. And these T cell receptors are heterodimers, consist of two chains, alpha and beta. The alpha and beta chains are encoded by a genes uh, TRA and TRB respectively. In addition to alpha and beta expressing T cells, there is a minor subset of T cells that expresses gamma delta T cell receptor. And this plays a role in recognizing uh, phospholipids and phospholipid antigens. If you look at the structure of T cell receptor, it closely resembles the immunoglobulin or antibody. That is why the T cell receptor is also a part of a protein of immunoglobulin superfamily. Closely examining the structure of a T cell receptor, it consists of a terminal variable read domain, followed by constant domain, connecting peptides, transmembrane domain, and short cytoplasmic tail. The variable 
and the constant domain consists of the intra-chain disulfide bridge and also the alpha and beta chain are connected together by inter-chain disulfide bridge. The TCR closely resembles the FAB region of immunoglobulin molecule. And as in the case of immunoglobulin, similar to the case of immunoglobulin, the variable region is responsible for antigen recognition. And it consists of three complementarity determinant regions. These three complementary de determinant regions are responsible for recognition of antigens as well as MSC peptides. So collectively, the T cell receptor <sighs> recognizes the antigen that is presented via MHC molecule. As similar to immunoglobulins, T cell receptor also undergo gene rearrangement for genetic diversity. The gene arrangement rearrangement includes combinatorial joining, junctional flexibility, and but there is no somatic mutation as compared to antibodies. If you look at the gene structure and organization of the alpha and beta chain genes, the alpha chain genes consist of variable, re variable region, J junction region, and constant genes. There are 47 variable regions, 61 J joining region, and one constant region. And each of those variable region a joining region and a constant region give rise to a complete uh, T cell receptor molecule. And if you look at the beta chain of the gene for the beta chain of T cell receptor, it consists of variable region, joining region, and a constant region it in addition to that one it also consists of diversity genes set of diversity genes that is responsible for coding D region the multiple variable uh, J region and one constant region and the combination of these multiple gene rearrangement gives rise to the diversity of the alpha chain. In addition, there is a junctional flexibility where while joining B and J, there is an addition of the nucleotides that would also lead to the diversity of our sequence variation of these T cell receptors. Similarly, for beta, the joining of D and J creates the extra or some additional variation in the sequence that leads to the diversity. If you remember, the T-cell receptor consists or the variable region of T-cell receptor consists of three domains, CDR1 alpha, CDR2, and CDR3. CDR1 and CDR2 alpha are complementary determinant region 1 and 2 are encoded by a, a germline variable genes, whereas the CDR3 alpha is encoded by the variable genes, a part of variable genes, the joining genes, as well as the junctional flexibility. That is why CDR3 is, uh, has more uh, sequence variation and it is also the reason which is responsible for binding to antibodies. Sorry, binding to the antigens.
this is the diagrammatic representation of This is a diagrammatic, diagrammatic representation of T cell receptor where, with uh, class 1 MHC and class 2 MHC. If you see here, CDR1 is interacting, or CDR1 and CDR2 are interacting with the MHC class 1 molecule, whereas the CDR3 of alpha and beta are interacting with the peptide. Similarly, for uh, class 2 class two MHC molecules, CDR3 is well positioned to interact with the peptide, whereas CDR1 and CDR2 would interact with the MHC molecules. Another characteristic feature of T cell receptor is that it binds to the antigen weakly compared to the other end. This T cell receptor in the membrane is not self-sufficient for signal transduction. Therefore, it complexes with CD3 molecules. The CD3 molecules consist of three dimers. Uh, the homodimers of uh, zeta chains uh, the, and the heterodimers of delta epsilon and gamma epsilon chain. Uh, the CD3 molecules consist of additional domain in the intracellular uh, side or cytoplasmic side, uh, cytoplasmic tail. Those are ITAMs, that is immune receptor tyrosine kinase activating, activation motifs. These items are responsible for tra signal transduction. Therefore, even though the TCR do not consist of these items and it is not self-sufficient for signal transduction, the interaction with CD3 complex enable it for transducing signals. In addition to the CD3 uh, TCR complex, for the productive activation of T cells, it requires T cell MHC and co receptor engagement. The co receptor includes CD4 and CD8. These are the co receptor that is present in the T cells. The CD4 is present in the CD4 plus T cells. and CD8 is present in the CD8 plus T cells. These CD4 and CD8 T cells binds to the complex that consists of TCR, MHC, and peptide and induces the signal transduction that helps in the T cell activation. In summary, T cell receptor recognizes antigen displayed on the target cell via MHC molecule. T cell receptor is a protein of immunoglobulin superfamily and it poses diversity in antigen binding and recognition. T cell receptor is not self-sufficient for signal transduction and requires CD3 molecules for transducing signals and productive T cell activation require engagement of co-receptor such as CD4 and CD8 to MHC molecules.